So this is what it looks like the next day. It's not entirely dissolved, so we need some more acid in there. But what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to. This has been stirred several times, so this should be um, a pretty saturated solution, I think. So I'm going to transfer the super saturated solution off. And uh, you gotta be a bit careful um, with this stuff because it's obviously mostly sort of concentrated nitric acid. Um, so it'll eat yeah, things like syringe needles uh, fairly effectively. So you've got to be uh, fairly quick with your handling of the solutions here. And of course, it's fairly uh, corrosive. So you gotta make uh, you know put some effort into. Uh, not touching it. It's, it's uranium, it's got a half-life of four and a half billion years, which in practice means that it's not so radioactive. For certain, the thing that I'm most worried about here is um, the, uh, getting the nitric acid on my skin, which is why I'm, I'm taking some degree of care here. Okay. So there's our nice uranium solution. And I'm going to put some more uh, concentrated nitric acid in here. I need to keep tabs on how much I'm adding. You know, because um, this, is, <laughs> this is only a relatively small amount of my um, uranium here. And I, you know, I've never done this before. <laughs> I've got to uh, kind of work it out as I go along. Sorry, 10 mils, which will be about 15 grams, 14 grams. It is beautiful. So basically, I want to make sure that everything that's going to dissolve will happily dissolve. Cool, exactly, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure that's, that's going to be everything dissolved after that. So, beyond this, I'm going to let that settle out. I'm going to stir it a few more times. Um, let it settle out and then I'm going to transfer all of this over and then I'm probably going to wash it once with water you know because there'll be some powder at the bottom as you see not much of it um, and that powder uh, will be oh I don't know some insoluble rock like stuff awesome so it <laughs> looks like uh, that all dissolved up fairly nicely but this, I just can't believe. Look what happened to this stuff in the meantime. Uh, I'm still not quite sure what the hell happened there. Did it oxidize? Was it a super saturated solution that crystallized? Anyway, in the first instance, I'm going to get all of that out of there. And join up my two solutions. I did have this suspicion that this thing was drinking air, right? put the lid on it mostly to keep the nitric acid vapors in but it does this is sucked here you go right this is sucked all of the air out of the top there so this stuff whatever it is reacts with air and i suspect that's what this this has done here and i've got uranium oxide as a result now what what's left here is basically slag of one sort or another um, yeah, there's something like sand at the bottom there. So again, let's be... Oh, that's gorgeously yellow. There's lemon! Right. Let's take it nice and easy. I think I will wash that with a little more water. Okay, so I just added some more water to that. Let it settle out for a bit. Not quite sure what these sort of pink stuff is. I'll certainly recover that, but yeah, if I was a keen man, I'd wait for the rest of it to settle out. But I'm going to leave it to stand like that till tomorrow, and we will see what happens. I strongly suspect that that's going to be all precipitated out tomorrow. So that's what it looks like the next day. And. Do you have to see the crystals? Well, first of all, I'm going to heat it up, see if it all goes back into solution. Cool, so we've got a nice yellow solution now. 
But now I'm going to add some hydrogen peroxide. It's fairly concentrated stuff. It's 30% hydrogen peroxide. Let's love a little here. Let's go for 15, shall we? And then we're going to get some precipitate of uranium peroxide here, which is the first step towards getting something sensible, which I might be able to electrolyze to make metallic uranium. So the, uh, the bubbles there are coming from the hydrogen peroxide, but that's what it looks like at the moment. And I recall this was sort of off the scale earlier. Uranium ore, just to show it is uranium ore. I stick that on there, you'll find this goes up to, bear in mind about point 0.1 is uh, background, so this is like, uh, yeah, about 100 times background, that sort of thing. With uh, yeah, about point 0.1 being background. So there's a combination of a couple of things here. First of all, um, because it's, it's just diluted, it's got a hundred times the volume it had earlier. Um, but secondly, there's a self-screening factor going on here. So, what you've got is the radiation from the back here is screened by all the water in the front. So you just don't see it. What I'm mine is, it looks like it's not very radioactive anymore. So, by the time I actually get that out, it's a solid. That'll make this thing go so ballistic, it just, it doesn't even bear thinking about. I'm going to have to neutralise this to precipitate it. And the way I'm going to do that, if I was paying more attention, I would know, have a much better idea how much um, alkali I have to add to this to actually neutralise it. Um, but I don't, so... Um, There we go. Good. So what we've got here is 40% sodium hydroxide by weight, which this is basically drain cleaner. And it's pretty aggressive stuff. And um, yeah, once you add this to your uh, acid, it's going to generate quite a lot of heat. So you're going to start off with 10 mils. Hopefully, there's going to be enough thermal mass here to keep it all cool. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, our pH for water is about 8, it says. Uh, it's just... Okay, this is 10 mils. Oh, wow! That's giving a sort of orange precipitate. That's awesome. Oh, lots of chunky orange for a shiver tape. 10 mils. So I wasn't too keen to immediately stick my pH meter in here, you know, for fear of destroying it, but let's see what we're like on pH. Oh, look at that crash! Okay, it goes straight down to zero. Straight down to zero after 10 mils. Oh, it's nice and warm. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. And then, as you stir some more, it all dissolves away. At least I think it does. I keep adding more. Oh, that's getting warm. Oh, yeah, this is like, uh, actually, it's probably only 35 degrees at the moment. So, this is mostly just the acid base neutralization. It was fairly concentrated nitric. And we've been adding fairly concentrated potassium hydroxide. Okay, so let's, let's mix all this up. And I'm pretty sure our pH is still going to be a fairly rock solid zero. And our pH is still zero. <laughs> Which means it's super acidic still. 
Oh, that's getting goofy. Yeah, it's still all toasty. This is uh, 45 degrees, something like that. I'm curious if, uh, you know, it, it ends when it's not blood running anymore. As you might expect, I've not done much uranium chemistry in my entire life. Okay, so I'm going to take a reading there. I expect it still to be obscenely acidic, but... And it's still zero. It's not boiling, because I can touch it. So that just must be the hydrogen peroxide decomposing. That's actually what's generating the heat at the moment, I think. Is so I'm just going to cool it down a bit. Okay, that's taken about 20 degrees out of it. And it stirs well now. Good. We're on the scale. Almost pH 2. That's actually not... That won't take much more to completely neutralize it. In fact, that might be... You'll see that the color is changing here quite a lot. All right, it's gone from sort of a milky color to... Right, I think I might call it quits at that. pH 2. You see the colours changed a lot. Let's just add another Oh, not even a milliliter. And let's see what that does with pH. Uh, and pH is about three! So that's actually getting pretty close to neutral at that point. And as you see, the colour's changed quite a lot. I'm going to call it quits at that. What we're going to have to do is just decant it off as much as we can. And I'm curious to see how much yellow we actually get in all of this. Okay, hold on. For the rest of it, I want it sedimenting out in something a little better. So I'm going to go for all of that. Oh, wow, there's some real gunk in the bottom of that. So. There we go. Do not drink. i wash that several times like that. Okay, I think I might have overdone it earlier. So, I dialed the pH back to about 2, which is really acidic. But now you see I've got all that beautiful, dense, white powder at the bottom. I can decant that off, add more water, and cycle that a few times. And we'll see how much of that yellow powder we have left. Lots and lots. Let's wash it again. The washing number two. And I think, you know, I mean, we get sort of 70% uh, of the crap off of each washing. And with that, I think we're done. So I left it in the stand overnight. Now, all I'm going to do is get that out and dry it out and see how much I've got. Now I've just got to boil off all the water from there. Cool. So you'll notice we've moved outside for a very good reason. And that's the only a crazy, right? Once you're dealing with fine powders, uh, you really don't want fine or radioactive powders. 
anywhere near you. Um, so I'm actually taking quite a lot of care with this. Um, so it's a very fine powder now, and uh, you know it's not so bad, you know, here, no, because it's alphas, and alphas don't have much penetrating power. However, um, <laughs> did you get up here? Yeah, it's kind of a different matter. So that's going up to what? 400 background, 400 times background? Something like that? Right, so next question. How do we get it out? Well, I don't want that powder going anywhere. So I'm going to put that on top. And then I'm just going to pour the powder into this boy here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, let's turn up there. So, um,. There we go. That's nice and easy. Alright, it's, it's fairly insoluble, intractable powder. So, should just be a matter of a little tap tap. Nice and gentle. Let's just keep that on there. Easy. There we go, that's why I don't want it coming out. I don't want that powder coming out. So, 8 grams, it's not bad. Now, Orchinite is about 50% eh, by weight uranium. Next question How much Orchinite do we have in there? And it's about 15 grams, almost exactly 15 grams. So, oh, 8 grams, it's not bad. Okay, excellent. So, what's that? 8.3 grams. And, he's, he's a little more radioactive than he used to be. 500 times background. And that. Okay, let's get a nice seal on that. Beautiful.